Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just showing you a quick breakdown of ways you can prompt AI for low content book covers. This was an experiment that I did after Canva updated their terms and conditions. that You cannot own copyright on anything that has a pro element in that. That forced me to work through my books one by one, looking for things that I needed to take out and update. And I was also heavily getting into mid journey prompts and using those as little assets to put inside of my books. I decided to try to recreate a, a, a book that was selling well, but I had a pro element in it. I had to take it out and unfortunately it was across the whole cover. So I went into mid journey and I prompted a new cover. And once I updated it on April 12th, this might've been April 10th that went live April 12th, the sales increased. And this has been a good reminder to embrace technology. And I want to break it down for you in this video. So as you can see here, this was April 12th. It is almost, you know, July 12th at the time of this recording, and it's brought in two grand in royalties. And so let's dive into exactly the steps I used to do this. First of all, you need to look into the current terms and conditions of the software that you use to use artificial intelligence. I have been digging into mid journey and I really appreciate the terms and conditions here. As long as you pay for a subscription, you own the assets and you can claim copyright. Now, the really important aspect of this creation process is that I keep track of my prompts because that is the only thing that I can actually apply for registration of copyright, which is a separate topic. I've also been talking to my attorney and he is ready to do a live coaching call with you guys. And so in the next 10, 15 days, I'm going to have that for you. It is a paid coaching call, but it's like having access to an attorney without spending thousands of dollars like I did. So I'm really excited for that. Working with him, he has really helped me to see the power of prompts, but then also ownership over our assets. And so I stay up to date on my mid journey uh, subscription which I pay $10 and the $10 comes out of the book profits. So obviously you can see that it is paying for itself 10 times. So when we talk about prompts, I want to show you some of the things that I've prompted. I've been using these in blog articles on medium.com. I've been using these in videos and book covers and things like that. So here is one where I uploaded a photo of me and asked it to do something. I can't remember all the prompts. I have them in a folder. But it just gives you an idea of some of the basic technology that you can do with AI. This is uh, A plus content that I'm able to use it for. And I think that's really powerful to use this for A plus content. We could probably do a whole video on A plus content with AI because it is robust. So what I was able to do was prompt some topics for AI to spit out an image that I was able to update my cover on KDP. And after 72 hours, it went live and it started selling better than it did before. So here's kind of the breakdown of the prompting system that I've been using for AI. And these are kind of the steps. It's going to be different depending on the niche, but understanding the keywords is a really important part. If I can include a keyword in my prompt for um, mid journey, then I feel very empowered. And that's what I've done uh, with keywords and Sometimes it's more than just, sometimes it's color. Sometimes with low content, it could be a specific color that someone's looking for or a mood or even a theme. And so these are really important things to think about when you are doing keyword research is how does the keyword research fit into the actual prompt for mid journey? And then I always do dash dash AR ratio two thirds. And that allows me to have a long one. You can see from these beginner ones that I was just hitting enter and they were spitting out squares. So A plus content that works if my book's not eight and a half by eight and a half or it's five and a half by five and a half, which I'm not sure if you can do five and a half by five and a half, but I publish a lot of eight and a half by 11. I publish a lot of six by nine. A lot of coloring books are eight and a half by 11. So being able to use the prompt uh, two thirds is really crucial. Uh, two colon thirds is how that's written out. So let me know what questions you have. Are you using, are you prompting covers in mid journey? I think it's really fun. And it's a fun way to get covers out there that are unique, but also um, I think that's the power with the prompts is that's what makes them unique, right? Because anyone can take an image and copy you. I think that this could be a separate video. Don't copy other people. You're going to have more uh, success in publishing your profits when you don't copy another YouTuber's example. 
So you copy the framework that they use to get their results and you'll be much more powerful and empowered. Love you guys. Peace out.